morning folks at 7.29 just thinking about starting getting up pretty cold there's uh there's frost oh, on my sleeping bag inside the tent I'll just go and check what temperature it is now. We are getting that. That's inside the tent. It's actually getting warmer. When I first looked at it, it was minus 1.1, but I think because I've touched it, it's getting warmer. But it's, you know, so minus 0 0.1 now, but. I first looked at it about a minute ago, it was minus one, so below freezing in the tent. Morning chaps, just go out of the tent there. As you saw for the reading in the tent, it's pretty cold. Uh, but luckily, I mean obviously that's the air temperature, there's not there's very little wind, which is, I'm just amazed, the last two trips, how little wind there uh, was, and thank God for that, because it's really the wind that, that uh, you know, obviously combined with the cold air temperature, but it's the wind that really cuts through you, so like minus one or two with, with, a, with a strong wind is, I don't know exactly, but a bit... Well, it would be probably closer to minus 10, that's... So... That's one thing, there's no wind. And the ice frozen over, and during the night, you could hear the ice, you could hear, you could hear the ice cracking, but one of them was, like, really loud. A big crack there, and then you could make out a crack, you know, you could make out it was going down, right down the loch, a big crack. Right, it's about, about 7.45, I better get Matt, woke up if we're trying to get the 12 o'clock train. Morning, Matt. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, I got you snoring there, so you can't get on you are wide awake. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll make it 12 o'clock train, you have no problem. We've only got two trains, a 12 o'clock and a 6 o'clock, so. It's a long wait and then it's the next day. We've not got enough food. Just making porridge this morning. That's the best thing you can eat in the morning. Two wee packets of food that is. Two wee packets at the pound shop. As I, I said, the last trip, I think, I think you get, I don't, can't remember if it's six or ten in a packet. I actually like it. Matt's got the real porridge, but I like this. That looks yummy. Right, I'm going to eat it. So Matt's got a slight problem getting his water out. What is it? It's frozen. Ice cube in the tap there. Tap with a water bottle bags frozen. <laughs> Aye. There you go. Frozen water and frozen milk and you'll get there. Ah, oh, you'll get there.
That's us packed and ready to leave. <coughs> right, Martin, enjoy the two days. Ah, it's good. So, you're looking forward to putting your first movie on your channel? I've not seen the quality yet. I'll have a look. One last look at Lock Creek. We are pitch site. Right, we better get on our way. Yeah, that's us on our way. We've got two and three quarter hours to catch the train. I would guess it will take us a cup. Certainly, take us two hours to get back. So, we should be okay. We're going through this bit where we got all the wood last night for the fire. A lot of wood lying around, so still enough here for another fire. That fire lasted four hours, and I think it was over five hours. We went back here and collected a wee drop more. So that we had a fire going for five hours. Certainly helps the morale, and it's something today rather than just lying there. A freezing tent. Well, that's as well on our way back to the train station. That was my first two night wild camp. I really get a taste for, you know, more than one night. One night's, one night's okay, but I much preferred the, the two nights and even, I think probably three or four. I don't know about any more than that. But certainly I fancy going solo somewhere myself for three or four nights. I don't know where. Uh, maybe Aaron or maybe do a, bit of, a good bit of the West Highland Way. You know, walk towards, you know, start like maybe, I don't know, a third of the way and then walk up the way to Fort William. It's been a good trip. I can see Martin in the distance looking back, looking worried. I've got his train tickets. <laughs> right, as I said to the, to the end of the last film, hope you enjoy whatever ends up on screen and uh, I'll see you for the next one okay bye